Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 16 by 24 inch canvas that I worked on recently. You will maybe have just seen part one and I am going to use my little tray to hold my chain and I'm going to use my chain. And I'm going to put some colors in here, probably three at a time is what I'm thinking. Actually, I want to start on the part that bothers me the most, which is up here. And I think I'm going to do just what I said I was going to do, and put similar colors, similar but different. How about that? Um, if I put the pink in there, I need there to be white. White is often good with the chain pulls anyway, black or white, because it adds a certain... I don't know how to say that. Um, it adds a certain depth to the configuration of the colors. But in any case, we will continue, and I think I'm just going to keep taking tops off and trying to get them out of my way and putting my little chain in a bucket and, uh, and then just adding colors that I like. And depending on how schmutzy the chain is or not, I will or I won't change it out. And since I'm not in a big hurry to change that out right now, because I'm liking what I'm seeing, and the colors are all coming out of the bottles, which is really nice and kind of different. So if I pull that down to the edge, then I can also let it fall right over. I can pick up, maybe I can pick up a little more. Yes, cool. I'm getting a double, a double flame tip on these, but uh, if you pick them up quick enough, or if you're working on a wet canvas, is probably more likely the truth. Um, you can often get different effects. Now, since I like this purple in here and I want some more of it, I'm going to hope <laughs> that I can get some to come out, to keep my tops off, and combine it with some other purples. See how that white just pops things? Take the top off. And what do I want in there with that? Something a little different. Whoop, I didn't shake that. That's what stained Floetrol looks like. It's okay, we'll figure it out. So I think maybe a little black, and maybe a little white. What else? I've got another purple color around here I love. And where did you go? There you are. Let's make sure I shake that. It's very similar to the other one. It makes me want to put some blue in there. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I don't think more ever heard anything with the ball chain. I am going to throw this one into a little container I'm going to make of water right now so that if I need it, I can use it. But I don't want it in the bucket because they wind up in the yard. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put a, a loop of ball chain in my hand. You know, that just called, just told me that it wants something else and I know what that something else is and that something else is an art mines yes an art mines mystique top off and we don't use any silicone in our mixes but we got some beautiful cells popping all over the place maybe it's the flow troll who knows if I want that to widen out I'm going to pick up some more paint. I got some really cute cells. It's probably too small for you guys to see, but they're in there, and I don't want them to go away yet. There. I did it. I used my finger. Oh, you're going to have to do it sooner or later. Although I really like how that pinky, metallic, magenta looked. I wonder if I can take the... Yes, I can. Take the painted chain. And use the paint that's flowing off it. So I kind of think that that's going to make me happy. I like doing this. I'm going to just keep using new chains. I have to decide if I'm going to keep doing what I was doing or change it up. 
And since I'm just learning how to do this new technique with three colors at least at a go, I'm probably going to keep doing it. We got love bugs in the air, so if something lands in the painting and I squeak, you will understand why. I saw that little thing land there. I keep saying that I can pull the chain out, but then it doesn't seem to work as well. So I'm going back in two directions, so it looks like they're linked up, and that's okay with me. I want some more of that, actually. I really kind of want to dip the chain in this turquoise I've got here. See what happens when I do that. It wasn't dipped very deeply, and I don't want to schmutz up the, all the turquoise. It's not a metallic color, but it is a great color. I've got some other little cells down there, so I don't really want to see the end of them. Hopefully I'm not working outside of your vision, which is entirely possible. I always wanted to just play with stuff like that. I'm going to leave that skewer in there because I think I probably... <laughs> that may have been a mistake. But I am going to just keep... adding colors and I really want to continue using that turquoise that's on there so I'm not going to do anything to mix it to take it off. And I am just going to use this as my little personal playground and uh, see what I can get out of it. I keep going back and letting the chain lead, lead things away. This could take a while. I might never share this with anyone. I used to threaten that all the time. Then I shared everything with everyone. And every once in a while I see people using my techniques and that's cool. I don't want anybody to be upset if I notice that you're using my techniques. I take it as a compliment. And copying is the sincerest form of flattery as we all know. I haven't added the white like I promised myself I would quite as readily, but I'm still getting some things down here that I love. I think I want some more of that right over here. It occurs to me I could even decide at some point to just stop early. I want some either darker purple or brighter purple, and I'll take the iridescent. And that's a bubble. The bubble you see there is just the larger version of a smaller bubble that you have if you don't torch. And there's plenty of them. After a while you've got to trade in your chain or clean it off. But until then, you can go back and forth. She says, having to re readjust her chain in her hand. All right, so I see that. I'm not sure why that was there. Something I missed. I can't imagine this is exciting, but, um, <laughs> oh, well, you're here, I'm here, let's do it. I think I would like to clean my chains on the break, and um, I just put orange down, so what do I want with that? I don't know if that's going to work or not, but that's why we're doing this. And I did just, I'm down to my last three pieces of chain too. I've got larger ball chain though. You can spin it on one, just one ball. That's pretty cool. I wish I could keep all of my little circles and overlap them. So we kind of lost the pink in there, but it's still not a bad situation because I think I'm just going to put some more pink in there. 
might be better off if I was using the darker pink. So let's do that down here. I am taking an awfully long time compared to what I usually do, and I'm just, today's, I'm giving myself permission to be a little more lackadaisical about how long it takes because things are changing at YouTube and I don't get very many views at, at a time but I figure you guys who are here deserve to have something of quality and if you need to fast forward it doesn't hardly matter anymore go for it <laughs> and if you don't you know why you're here because you like to listen to me talk and I appreciate that I have, a, I have a new tool I used in my last painting too. It's really tempting to do that, but I don't know if I need a zipper effect in here. So um, I'm going to turn this now and I'm going to work on this area because even though there's some really cool things there, I want some changes and red is not the change that I want. So I'm going to try and use either my larger ball chain. I think it's going to be all greens. Greens and maybe some turquoise. Ah, top goes over there. Top goes over there. I don't know what I'm going to get yet, but I'm putting colors where I wouldn't mind them blending a little bit. And sometimes I like a little bit of Prussian blue because it sells. And I haven't used any gold. And I've got some gold mica powder I haven't used in so long. I better shake it up good if I'm going to use it. also want to use some of the white. And while we're at it, let's just be frivolous with our colors. Not really, but uh, it sounded good at the time. That is the Art Minds Mysterious. I have that green. I don't have any turquoise in there. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I think I want more of my go-to, yes, I don't have any, green gold. So let's just start somewhere. I'm starting with the smaller chain. I'm chicken right now for that bigger one. I'm going to move this down to the edge of my tile. Hopefully you can see that. Let some paint go back down. Wave some wave some chain around and hope that uh, having not ha I don't have the co most copious amount of paint but I'd like it to be enough to continue dragging cool marks it's just you never know until you practice how that something like that's going to work and I can dip that I can try and dip it and cheat. It's not perfect. It's accidental art, so expecting it to be perfect would probably be a mistake anyway. As we go and we pull the paint, it agitates the paint so that uh, we have a chance of popping cells. If the paint I'm going over is too gloppy, it's going to bind up the chain. I'm going to give myself a, oh no, I just saw something try and blow through my artwork. I'm going to give myself permission to go drag a few long tendrils out before I go back again. I want some more of that green in there. But nature usually has a pretty good idea of what she's doing and sometimes I'm just letting nature take over. But it doesn't matter because when I want green I'll take it. <laughs> oh well. I want some green here, too. Now that I've seen it, I'll take some more. So 
long as there's still some other paint in my chain, it will mix. That's okay because the background is a little green as well. Steal a little bit of that and let it go down over the edge. You know, I want something to go all the way up into there, so I'm going to add some more of everything right there. And maybe I haven't put any of this dark forest green in there, or Christmas tree green, or whatever you want to call it. But I do love combining the colors. That's it's like seriously floating my boat. It's just that there's a lot more thought put into. I mean, you don't have to be like overly thinky. <laughs> That's not a word. You don't have to get obsessed with it. But you should trust that the colors. If you put beautiful colors together, you're probably going to get a nice combination of beautiful colors. At least that's my theory, and I'm sort of sticking with that for life. I like all this, but I kind of want it to go over here. I don't know if I can cheat and have that happen. It looks like I got away with it. It's always going to be a work in progress. Hey look, I got six seconds on the timer. <laughs> And then I can tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you for two minutes. Which is going to go by really, really fast, I can tell you now. If I can do a lot more in two minutes, I'll, I'll try. Because I think I really like this green and how it looks down there, so it's not a bad solution to just add a bunch. So I should tell you guys, if you shop the Amazon link, that you can find it in blue below the video. You help me out at no extra, no extra cost to you, and uh, I could use all the help I can get. Appreciate that. There is a drawing going every month for contributors to the studio who have, in the past, helped me pay for art materials, and still are. Lots of you. Thank you very much, by the way. Appreciate that. Um, what else do I need in there? Not much. I'm missing something. There it is. Alright, so I've still got green on my chain, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I can always put spirals in afterwards. Right now I'm just going to take advantage of the fact that I have some other colors on my chain and I want the effect that I get from sharing schmutzy chain with new colors. And if I leave the paint thick enough, I can always drag through. And if I pull it out and it leaves a nice thick trail, then I also have a much better chance of being able to come back and spiral something out of that. Um, I'm completely losing track of whatever I'm supposed to tell you. That was two minutes too fast. Um, so check out the end screens for 840 videos. Uh, if you binge watch, it used to do something for me. If you give me a thumbs up, it's a big help, I'm pretty sure. And so uh, thank you guys for binge watching, and thank you for the thumbs up, too. Really appreciate your trying to help me out. I have a book called Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link. It's the first hundred videos. We're, we're quickly trying to work on uh, another volume now for Christmas release. We'll see what happens. I have to be a little less busy. I'm starting to sell my artwork and I found a local gallery that's uh, very enthusiastic about my work so if you are inclined to want to buy a piece of artwork it's still for sale. Uh, probably things will be less available as time goes on so if you fell in love with something you might want to mention it soon and uh, my email address for that purpose and for reserving class time if you want to be a student um, in the studio in Spring Hill, Florida. My email is underneath the video. So I love you guys. There's 80,000 of you. Uh, not that any more than 500 of you are, uh, in a day ever get a chance to see my videos. And I guess I'm just going to have to come back for another part, which would be part three. But I'm kind of having a good time, and I could do this without you for a little bit, and it wouldn't be a problem. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying I love you.
Thanks for all the wonderful comments you leave me. I hope you keep